What's up, everybody? Dave Ford here from the Job Podcast. And uh, I want to talk to you for a few minutes about a three-letter word that can be either very powerful or can just be a drop in the bucket. So let me start it off like this. In my opinion, one of the greatest quotes that was ever uttered in American pop culture history was by a little green dude in Star Wars. Do or do not, there is no try. That's right, my man Yoda from Empire Strikes Back said that so long ago, back in 1982. And it stuck with me. And it stuck with me all this time. For 37 years, it stuck with me. Why? I'll put it to you like this. Why would you try to have a great day today? Do it. Make a choice. I told my kids probably about five years ago, when we were going some, through some really, really tough times, and I was about to hit rock bottom. And we woke up on a Saturday morning. It was bright and sunny outside, just like today. And I said, guys, you got two choices. And they're like, what's that, Dad? I said, either it's going to be a terrible day today, or you're going to make it a great day. And the more often that you make that choice, that positive choice to make it a great day, you'll make it a positive habit. And then you don't even think about it anymore. You attack the day. You go after each day. You, you see what I mean? Do you see where I'm going here? When you say you try, or you're going to try, you're putting in very little effort there. You're leaving effort to fail. You're leaving room to fail is what you're doing. So if you fail, then you don't feel so bad about it. You feel like you didn't invest enough into it, so it's not a big disappointment. But God forbid you say, I'm going to go all in today, and if it doesn't go right, you are afraid of feeling what that's like to be let down. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. Guys, girls, boys, women, everybody young and old. Guys, we rise and we fall every single day. We have expectations every single day that don't get met. That doesn't mean your day was a failure. It just means, guess what? If you didn't achieve those a couple things today, go after it tomorrow and make it happen. I was at an orientation last night for one of my girls, uh, Desiree, at, at North Bay Haven, and I ran into a former football player. And I walked up to him and gave him the hug, and I was happy to see him. He's like, Coach Ford, puts his arms out, which is something that is always, always great when that takes place. Um, I looked at him, I said, you're a senior this year, right? He said, yes, sir. I said, it's on you, man. Have a great, great year. He said, well, where are you going to be? I said, buddy, I'm not here this year, but that's okay because you're ready. I said, you're going to have a great year. He said, I'll try. And I turned around dead in my tracks. I said, no, don't try. Make it happen. And he paused for a second. He said, yes, sir. It's not as profound as a lot of people want to make it seem, guys and girls. Trying just takes this much. But go all in. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? So what if you don't make it today? So what if you let yourself down today? And maybe it's not even you letting yourself down. Maybe it just didn't happen because it wasn't going to happen anyway. Don't overthink things. Don't say it probably didn't happen because of this and that and that person and that person. Don't be pointing the finger. Don't be blaming. It just didn't happen. Okay, move on. On to the next. That's what we say in coaching. But I believe that you're going to make it happen today. I believe that everybody who watches this today, even if it's just two or three of you, 
I actually believe you're going to make it happen today. Whatever that it is. It's in you. It's in all of us. We have to activate it. We have to engage it. At the end of every day, we are the ones that have to make it happen. I pray for things to happen all the time. And God's timing is perfect. And I've had to learn over the years to be patient. And that is one of my biggest faults. It's one of my biggest weaknesses is being patient. But I'm getting better. And I hope you can say that today. When the day is done and you lay down tonight, that you can say, I got better today. And I did more than try today. I made it happen. I'm Dave Ford for the Joe Podcast. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. I'm excited to see you all again this week. Please know, coming up this weekend, episode four is coming up. Me and Coach Ty Steele will be coming at you with the issue of bullying because school is underway on Monday, August 12th. And it is a term that is polarizing. It is something that all of us have dealt with and do deal with all the time if we have kids. Thank you all out there. God bless. Peace.